friends hello i welcome you all in this my interesting video today's video is very very useful for your medical practice this video is regarding the important skin problem that is eczema and we will discuss the causes symptoms and treatment of eczema this is presented by myself professor dr rajendra raghuvir deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology so this is my mail id and whatsapp number yes you can definitely contact me for my paid online medical consultations for any skin problem pharmacy consultation on demand i also prepare audio and video lectures regarding any topic of ayurved or allopathy and i request to begin with please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so link for medicine classes for gp this is ready made link that my youtube channel contains nearly 550 or 600 plus videos but it is very difficult to find out uh, the useful matter so that's why this is link ready made link for you that is regarding the medicine classes for gp i have already uploaded the all the diseases regarding digestive system then sir cardiovascular system respiratory system and excretory system so you can see these all the videos educational videos very useful for your general medical practice so eczema in general medical practice this is itching dermatosis with red weeping eruption associated with intra and intercellular edema so these are the different causes number 1 is a contact with various agents like for example primary irritants are there like acids and alkalis secondary allergens can be your medicines like for example penicillin streptomycin lipsticks nail paints hair dye plants or flowers and chemicals any of this contact with these substances can cause dermatosis so what are the features in adult eczema during the acute stage there will be redness erythema followed by the vesicles with severe itching gradually exudates the secretions are coming up they get dried up and crust are formed secondary infection may occur at some time so from time to time there are always fresh exacerbation with oozing from the patches this is called as a sub acute stage gradually the skin becomes thickened and like any fight so there is also pigmentation and this is called as a chronic type of eczema okay so next we will go further this is you can see the acute eczema little bit redness is there then vesicles this is burst out these are the secretions okay next contact eczema common causes are like mentioned over here that over the hand there may be contact with soap detergents disinfectants chemicals and gloves gloves itself can cause the dermatitis if it is a reaction or sensitization over the feet the use of soaps plastic footwear and shoes can cause contact dermatitis on the face lipsticks creams all these beauty uh, what you can say the products powders hair dye perfume anything can cause the dermatitis over the axillary there may be application of different powders deodorants clothes so as much as possible the person should avoid to try all these irritant possible causes so this is here you can see the allergic contact dermatitis vesicles are there redness is there then napkin rash in the napkin area of the infants where we apply the diaper it gets irritation to the child because of the urine and fecal matter and that can cause the napkin rash infantile eczema which is also called as atopic eczema allergy to the foreign proteins patient may suffer from allergic bronchial asthma simultaneously in addition to his skin problems hay fever that is spring allergy etc eczematous patches on the flexor aspect of the limbs for example over here flexor aspect of the limb that is called as a besnier's prurigo besnier's prurigo means itching prurigo means prurigo means itching so atopic eczema can you see over here these are the vesicles redness is there this is the example of atopic eczema this is napkin rash can you see over here perianal region chronic lichenified eczema after lot of itching 
this becomes a chronic and dryness is there, hardening is there, that is called as a lichenification. So treatment will depend on the whether the eczema is acute or whether eczema is a chronic. In the acute, how you can diagnose? Erythema and oozing. And in the chronic eczema, thickening and lichenification. Okay. So in acute eczema, wash the particular patch with potassium permanganate solution, then apply the eumosone ointment, steroid ointment, eumosone, that is clobitazone butyrate. This is the generic name, clobitazone butyrate. Tablet lysolone, internally steroid, that is prednisolone, 5 milligram BD for seven days. If secondary infection that you can diagnose with fever, yellow color discharge, then ciprofloxacin antibiotic, 500 milligram BD twice a day, or cloxacillin, that is clox, 500 milligram TDS. If there is an itching, then to control the itching, antihistaminic, that like tablet cetrizine, 10 milligram HS. So these are the potassium permanganate crystals. This is a cloxacillin, 500 milligram, eumosone and cream. This is, we are talking about acute oozing eczema. This is Vysolon or the prednisolone, 5 milligram tablet. This is cetrizine at night because it can cause the drowsiness. Okay. Acute exacerbation of chronic eczema, that is wet eczema. Local, you can apply the betno wet N ointment, neomycin, steroid plus antibiotic, betno wet N ointment, tedious till the lesion becomes dry. Internally, tablet Vysolon, prednisolone, 5 milligram TDS. Of course, it should be tapered. Two TDS, one TDS, then what you can say, one BD, then one OD. For seven to 10 days, you have to go on reducing the dose. That is called as a tapering. Tapering is very important for steroids. Antihistaminic, that is tablet Avil, 25 milligram BD. But any antihistaminic, majority of antihistaminic, they can cause the sedation or drowsiness. So inform this particular thing to the patient, not to drive, not to swim, not to work near machines or the fire, because he may get the drowsiness. An accident can take place. Tablet Alprax, 0 0.25 milligram BD. This is a tranquilizer to control the psychosomatic factors, because these all skin diseases has something to do with the tension. Mental stress is always related with the skin problem. Antibiotic ciprofloxacin 500 milligram BD. Chronic lichenified eczema, external application, dipsalic ointment, dipsalic ointment, which contains steroid plus salicylic acid. Salicylic acid, it is a keratolytic. So hardening will go away. Tablet Visolon 5 milligram TDS with tapering fashion. Tablet set gene, tetrazine, one HS at night, if itching, this is antihistaminic. SOS, as and when indicated, if you are skillful doctor, then injection kinecord, 5 milligram diluted with 2 ml of xylocaine, intralegionally in the patch. At many installations are done, one centimeter apart to cover the total patch of eczema. This procedure, intra patch injection can be repeated every after one and a half month. Caution, when you are using injection kinec or triamcinolone, triamcinolone, a type of steroid, this injection should not be given when there is an infection. How you can diagnose infection? Fever and yellow color discharge, no kinec or in the infection, no steroid, okay? Chronic eczema lichenified, can you see prednisolone, visolone? Then this is kinecord injection, intradermal, intra-patch, then dipsalic ointment. Huh? This is for chronic, chronic variety. Ayurvedic treatment for eczema, we are going to see in the next video. So this is the end of today's video. And always remember, although you are giving the modern medicine, there should be some patcha, patcha do's and don'ts and also the regarding the use of cosmetic or any material soap and detergents, we should use very carefully. So disclaimer, these videos are for educational purpose only. So please 
any patient is not expected to take any medicine of its own because that is a risky condition so once again thank you very much take care and i wish you all the best bye 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 take care